You may be exploring Salesforce for your business and are wondering about the differences between Salesforce's two main clouds, Sales Cloud and Service Cloud. Sales Cloud and Service Cloud are both built on the core Salesforce platform, so there are critical features they share, but they're also fairly unique. Sales Cloud is focused for sales reps and sales managers, with all key functionality geared towards account acquisition, the sales funnel, and closing deals. Service Cloud is geared towards service agents and service managers. Key functionality is focused on agent efficiency, customer experience, and managing customer service issues in line with your company's processes and service level agreements. First, we'll take a quick look at the core shared features before looking at what makes Sales Cloud and Service Cloud different. There is some overlap between Sales Cloud and Service Cloud, which can make things a little confusing at first. These are core standard Salesforce concepts that almost all industries need to utilize. Whether you're in sales or service, the common thread is the customer, which is why one of Salesforce's core features is the ability to manage your accounts and key contacts within that account. Accounts and contacts allow you to manage organizations you work with as the key people within those organizations. The Salesforce data model allows accounts to be part of a larger hierarchy if needed, and you can associate a single contact to multiple accounts if they are key people across many unrelated institutions. While Service Cloud provides many more features for a robust and personalized service experience, Salesforce recognizes that keeping existing customers happy is just as critical for sales as converting new leads is. That being said, Sales Cloud also offers some very basic case management features, so you can provide your sales team with visibility into their customers' support issues and give people the service they need to be returning customers. The following features are the bread and butter of what makes Sales Cloud unique. Lead management. The very beginning of the sales funnel was all about nurturing prospects to find viable deals. Prospective customers are captured as leads in Sales Cloud and nurtured by sales reps to move them through the lead funnel. There are several standard features for lead management, such as assignment roles, which will automatically assign new leads to reps or teams based on certain attributes, like geography or product interest. Sales Cloud also has lead auto-response rules for automated follow-ups. For example, if a lead comes in from an online information request form, then Sales Cloud can automatically send them an email, thanking them for their interest and letting them know a sales rep will be in touch soon. Speaking of leads coming in from online forms, Sales Cloud has a native feature called web to lead which allows you to automatically generate a web form to capture prospects that can be added to any site, even if it isn't a Salesforce page. As your reps nurture your leads, you can give them the guidance for success in a path component. Path is a visual representation of the major steps in a process, such as the lead nurturing process or lead funnel, as part of Paths, you can add customized guidance for success notes to get advice and coaching for moving the lead further through the path. Finally, when a lead has expressed interest in moving forward, a rep can qualify them as a strong prospect and convert the lead into a full account. We now have to move down the pipeline to actual qualified potential sales. These potential sales are captured as opportunities. Just like with leads, you can define a number of sales processes which are in line with the sales methodology your company uses. And a sales path can be added to opportunity pages to help guide your reps through each step. Reporting and monitoring the pipeline is a huge part of any sales organization. How can you predict how much money each rep will close in a given period? And how can you track performance against quotas? Enter forecasting. Salesforce has native forecasting tools to give sales managers and their reps visibility into projections and performance. Many industries have a sales process which needs complex quote building and Sales Cloud has that functionality as well. Basic Sales Cloud quote building allows you to add in products, their quantity, pricing, and any discounts. A single opportunity may have multiple quotes as your sales rep negotiates the deal, but you can always pick which quote will sync to the pipeline reports and forecasting. The following features are the foundation of what makes Service Cloud unique from Sales Cloud. Let's have a look at how Service Cloud supports customer service teams. One of the critical features Service Cloud offers is the ability to automatically handle incoming cases to make sure nothing gets missed, just like how Sales Cloud has the lead auto response and assignment roles. When a new customer ticket comes into the system, Salesforce can automatically provide the customer with an auto-response email, acknowledging their issue 
and then run through configured assignment roles to route the tickets to the right agent or team. Another nice feature in Service Cloud is called Email to Case, which lets you route emails coming into a specific inbox to Salesforce directly. For example, if customers frequently email into a support inbox like support at your company.com, you can have inbound emails to that address automatically sync to a case in Salesforce so you don't have to worry about someone manually monitoring that inbox. Beyond just handling incoming cases, Service Cloud has native ways to track what types of support your customers are entitled to and define key milestones of that process. Entitlements and milestones help your team to keep track of which cases need immediate attention by defining appropriate service levels and outlining steps within a service process. Service Cloud also lets you take customer support beyond cases. Customers want to be able to get support on their own terms, whether it's via email, a support channel, online chat, or even SMS. One of the key features Service Cloud offers is Omnichannel, which connects all of your support channels, providing consistent support to your customers and giving your agents work in one consolidated place. Omnichannel can assign incoming customer service issues based on agent capacity by checking their workload. The Omnichannel Performance Dashboard also lets you monitor agent work performance to maximize efficiency. Salesforce offers native live chat, which can be embedded on any web page, not just Salesforce pages. Native SMS support means your customers can text from their smartphone while your agents stay in their Salesforce console. Salesforce has rolled out Service Cloud Voice which is their CTI tool for handling and routing incoming calls through Salesforce. Service Cloud has several features to help deflect cases and provide self-service options to your customers. First off, a knowledge base is a great way to provide easy answers and critical information. Lightning knowledge makes this easy to do right within Salesforce. You can make a public knowledge base or one for registered customers only but either way, the information is sure to help deflect cases. We've already talked about Salesforce chat functionality, but did you know you can help deflect cases and address simple questions with a chatbot? With Einstein bots, Salesforce lets you customize the bot's name and personality, and the bot sits right in the normal chat window that your agents use. Chatbots act almost like triage and then can handle more rote issues such as FAQs, checking on order statuses, or asking basic company questions. If the bot can't find the answer, it will route to an agent or create a case for the customer, providing a seamless service experience. Sales Cloud and Service Cloud are both built on the Salesforce core platform, so there are critical features they share. But remember, they are also fairly unique. Now you know the differences between them, you can go forth and decide what your business needs.